What's up guys, it's Ivan. In this video I wanted to show you how you can change transparency of your pictures within ClickFunnels and how you can add hovering effects. So really cool feature I'll show you using CSS or custom CSS code, okay? So something pretty simple to do, just follow how I'll do it and you can do it as well. So let me first show you what it is and what it looks like. So I'm just gonna go into view this page. Um, so here you have these three pages. As you can see, they already have reduced transparency, but if I go over them, they're kind of selected, right? Which, which which is awesome, I think, because this isn't something that ClickFunnels has unless you know some CSS. And also you can use whatever I'll be doing here in any page that allows CSS coding, uh, such as WordPress, for example. If you have a blog, you can customize your own pictures and whatnot with this feature as well, all right? So let me show you, so that's that. Um, and then here also over text, as you can see, if I go over this, uh, it also reduces transparency, okay? So let me just show you two things. First I'm gonna do is I will show you how you can um, reduce and change the opacity or the transparency and then how you can create this hovering effect. So what I'm gonna do, um, let me just delete all this. And that is something else I wanted to show you, a little problem that was there. So that's fine, I'll just delete that. So I'm gonna add, add row. Let me add a three column row just to show you what it's what the pattern is going to be. We're going to create new image, create new image, create new image. Uh, let's put up, let's put in whatever image you want. And by the way, you don't have to do this only to images. This can apply to anything, to text, to entire sections, whatever it is you want. Uh, so let me see. Uh, yeah, so let's just insert something. So let me search. Yeah. I'll do the same thing I did last time, so maybe I'll do happy. Uh, and let's put in, uh, let's just put in some random images to move one of these. Let's put in that and this. All right. So, uh, a little bit uneven there, but that's okay. So I'm gonna go into my custom CSS. I'm just gonna remove everything, okay? So don't worry, I'm gonna start from scratch with you. So I have nothing here, I'm gonna click save. So first thing we need to do uh, when we're gonna do this is of course select what picture you want and go from there. So let's click on gear icon. And again, it doesn't have to be a picture actually, it can be text. Uh, so out of whatever element you want changed, click on this little CSS info button and get this uh, ID selector copy it and go into custom CSS. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna paste that here. We're going to add a brace to it, which is like a bracket, which looks like that, right? So it's called braces, add one of that. Um, and we are going to add a code for what it's gonna look like. So in this case, it's opacity. So we're going to say opacity, we're gonna put uh, two dots, double dots, and we're going to say whatever you want it to be. So for example, if I put 0.5, so it's gonna range anywhere from zero to one, okay? So you can put say 0 0.11, 0 0.12, 0 0.13, 0 0.14, and as you can see, it, it, it gets more and more um, darker the more you, like the higher the number, the closer to one, right? So at one, it's as it is. Um, 0 0.1, it's real dark. So let's say 0.5, just enough to give us, to show us the difference. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna close that. So what this does is this creates an opacity and transparency for this picture, okay? So now you know how to do that. So select any element, for example, this one, you will go here, you will copy that code, you will put it in, and you will just put in that bracket and say opacity and whatever number you want from zero to one you know, being like a percentage. Imagine it's a percentage from zero to 100, okay? So that's that. Now we need to create a hovering effect, okay? So when you click or when you actually hover over that picture or that item with a, with the mouse, it's going to light up or, uh, not light up, sorry, but it's going to go back to its original transparency level. Uh, or you can do the opposite. You can have it um, have low opacity and then when you hover over it, it's gonna be higher opacity, okay? So, um, Okay, so let, let me just show you how what the pattern is. So I'm just going to copy that code and I'm gonna paste it back here again. And now what I'm going to do right over here, 
I'm going to put, again, two double dots, and I'm going to give a command, which is going to be hover, okay? So after the double dots, it, it, it's basically, it's a room for us to say what we want to have in that picture. In this case, it's hover. So after we hover, what do we want the opacity to be? Let's say 1.0. Now, when you hover over it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get... Uh, darker okay and that's I mean that's basically it that's the gist of it you can play around with it so you can make this for instance 1.0 and then as you hover over it it's gonna say 0.5 so you can do that too okay so as you hover over it something like that so play around with it so if we want to do the same thing here I'm going to take that code again and I will put it into my custom CSS I'm going to click enter. So everything within the brackets, just like we discussed in the previous videos where we changed the font and the text and the strike through of our um, words in ClickFunnels, um, the brackets symbolize kind of the, the command within that action, okay? So we, we need to create a new one now. So I'm gonna paste that again. So paste that new image that we want to work with. I'm gonna paste that brace over there. Uh, and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'll say, what opacity do you want it to be? I mean, maybe this one, we can make 7.75. I'm going to go to a new line, and I'm going to close the bracket. And then I'm going to, I'll just copy this whole thing again. I'm going to paste it here. Opacity, this time I'll make it, you know, maybe 0.25. So now whenever I select it, oops, what did we forget? We forgot to say hover. All right, lesson learned for you guys, okay? Don't forget to do that. So there you go. So now when you hover over it, okay, it gives you that. And like I said, you can do this with anything at all. So if you want to do it with uh, this text, you can do that here too. Go here, get this. And you know what? I'm just going to replace uh, that just to save us some time. I'm just going to replace this instead. Oops. Uh, there you go. So now this does nothing because now I've removed it from there. But if I go over this, it's going to give you a little um, hovering effect. Okay, so something really cool. Now, the, the one of the things that could be better with this is if I add a column. If I have one picture, one image, um, and I'll let me insert something. So let me put this one in. So as you can see here, there's tons of space, okay? So if I create a transparency effect for this one, the problem with this is going to be that when, when someone doesn't even click on the picture, but they click close to it, it will, it will light up or it will do that alternative action. So let me just show you what it looks like and what I'm going to do about it. And I will actually do something about it in the next video. So let me just show you. So here you see, so if someone even doesn't even click on the picture, but they click on the outskirts on the outside of it, it's going to still reduce the transparency. We don't want that. We want them to only click on the actual video. So I'm going to show you how you can reduce these extra margins in pictures or text if you want. So if you have this text and you want to remove these excess margins, you can do that as well, okay? So stay tuned. Thanks a lot for watching. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns. Now, I am doing this on Chrome and I'm doing this on a PC, not a Mac. So um, if you guys have any questions, let me know, write them down below. Hopefully I'll be able to help you out if you're using a different uh, computer or a different browser. Uh, please subscribe to stay tuned for the next videos. If you're already subscribed, I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.